I know it's not been long since the last video diary, but you're in luck. Here's another video diary from the road out on the tour on the WDF. And it was another early morning trip down to Stansted. It was a 7.05 flight, so early morning to get from Daventry down to London in order to get on the Ryanair flight over to Slovak, which was about a two or so hour flight, which I just can't get my head around flight times. Sometimes I'll go somewhere a much more local, and yet it still seems to be two hours, but two hours it was on the plane, ideal as well in the fact that there was no one sat in the middle seat, so it meant I was able to lay down across the seats, which I really struggled to sleep on planes, and after hardly getting any sleep again the night before, sort of leaving the house after two, three o'clock in the morning to get down to London, it was quite handy. I upgraded from Zach, Jodie came with me this time, and when we got there she wanted to video the room, so I videoed her videoing the room because I thought it'd be funny to do so. Lovely area, Savak, fantastic venue, amazing facilities, and I went down to check them out as well the day before. So I always like to arrive a day early. Now, when I look on the map, the venue was massive, so I wanted to be familiar with where the boards was where facilities such as the toilets are, all the things that you might need to know throughout the day, so I'm not just trying to work it out as we go. And the venue was actually split across three rooms. The room you're looking at now, this is the main room, the main boards where the majority of them was, but they also had another little side room where they had another sort of 16 boards, and then another room with 16 boards. Once I knew where it was, it was an early night needed because, as we say, it was an early morning, and we're getting up before the darts, it was an early start again, so half six to get up, so you feel alert and ready to go, and my word, what a breakfast. What a breakfast. It's like a buffet on your table. This was a great way to start the day. So I got down to the venue nice and early, but already the room was starting to fill up. Big entry numbers for this event. Over 500 players in the men's event. Then you've got the women's, the boys and the girls. So very, very busy. But this area here, which you can see, is sort of... It was like a tables and chairs area, massive, massive area. There's some boards at the back. There were boards in another room. You had the main room, which we saw from the opening day. Plenty of space, plenty of facilities, plenty of chance to practice. So really good event. The one thing, if you was being hypercritical, was not using the Dark Snake system allowed people not to tune in to watch your games, but they could certainly follow the draw bracket throughout. And I got quite a few wins. I won my board, I then won two following games, there were some really good signs as well. I did manage to post an average over 100 in the last 32 and I think at that point I really started to get encouraged because I'd posted a mid-90s average and then won over 100 which really good signs that things were starting to come through for me and starting to get into a bit of a flow and it's nice now to be posting those sort of numbers because I've, I've not been breaking 90 you know, for a, a bit of the, well, certainly the start of this season anyway. I was okay last year, but started slow, but then that sort of 100 there, really encouraging. I did then go on to lose, I was 3-1 up in the game as well in the last 16, so possibly a chance got away there in a silver event, so very disappointed to miss out on a quarter-final of a silver event through mistakes, so to speak. I went back, I was disappointed, but it's about a mile walk back to the hotel, and that's a good bit of time to clear the mind and certainly get on Google and find a, a local Chinese restaurant, which I'm sure I got over the disappointment the second I got all of this lot into my belly. Started day two exactly the same way. Nice, lovely breakfast on the table. There was like this yoghurt thing there as well, you'll see in the middle with some oats and like some strawberry. That was really, really nice. Again, venue nice and full. It was a bronze event though, which meant that it wasn't as many ranking points available for this one. And that did affect the numbers slightly with a couple of people less taking part in the event. Got to give a shout out here to Ben Phillips as well, who helped me out quite a bit on the day, marking a couple of games when Chalkers didn't show up. It's probably one of the biggest nightmares that organisers have to try and deal with in regards to the organisation of it, because you just want the event to flow and you don't want people sort of stood playing for ages. But thanks to Ben for 
bailing us out of that situation. Again, it was last 16 for me on the day. Day two, I traditionally tend to struggle a little bit more than the first day. That's when that sort of stiffness and the pain sort of kicks in in regards to the injury that I've been carrying for some time now. And that really did sort of flare up for me at the end of this day. It was two very long days where I'm looking at sort of seven, eight hours worth of darts and I was really really sore at the conclusion of this day to the point where I'm currently having to wear a splint throughout the day in order to sort of help that recover and recuperate which does mean unfortunately I will not be attending the Isle of Man anymore I have withdrew from that event so won't be heading there in a couple of weeks i'll hopefully be getting on the board again in the very near future because there's some really really encouraging signs and bar one or two little mistakes i reckon i could have gone a little bit deeper as well so really encouraging and some more points on the board there towards a lakeside journey this though did leave plenty of time to head back to the hotel get changed it was sort of mid-afternoon because the event started an hour earlier on the Sunday. So we was able to head into Bratislava, got an Uber up there to go and see some sightseeing and take some pictures, look at some overpriced fridge magnets and little shop glasses that have got Bratislava on them. You, you know, the type of things where, you know, they just sort of clog up the, the fridge until you eventually go, why have I got that on there? But we did some lovely views, some lovely sights. Again, nice eatery there. Um, the waiter gave us some sort of instructions and tips and things to go out and see. And you go up to the castle here at the top of Bratislava and it sort of looks out across the city. Got some real nice sort of stunning views and photos and different bits from the top of the city so if sightseeing your thing you'll probably like this part of the vlog for me I, I was sort of still trying to get over the defeat partly because I made a howling error and the last game it was a 3-3 three, three in the last 16 I wanted 76 and I hit a 5 I hit a 5 I sit and scrutinise people all the time for doing that and I went hit a 5 luckily though there was some nice local cuisine go try the old milkshake at the old McDonald's Charged me 50 cents to have a was. Unbelievable. But back to the hotel, back to the airport, and back to the UK. Back to the drawing board and back to the plans and to work out what is going to be next on my schedule. But before I left the airport, what is that? What is that? That is meant to be orange. That is not orange. There is nothing orange about that. But we're back in the UK. And like I said, the Island Man, this is going to be, was supposed to be my next trip. It's now not going to be. I need a little bit of recovery time. Probably playing too much. You know, I did the Scottish Open a week ago, then did this. That's four days of long hours, plus a little bit of practice in between as well. So I probably pushed it too hard, too quick, which I've got to. I've got to watch that, so it's probably going to be managed more than ever, but hopefully mid to end March we'll be back out there on the road again, trying to get a few more points on the board. Currently sat quite comfortable at the moment in a lakeside place, I believe I'm 28th at the moment in that order of merit, and also gone now into the top 50 in the overall rankings, which means I'm probably going to get some seeding places, which again will just sort of open up these events a little bit um, in regards to getting to those latter stages on a regular basis which is what we're doing already anyway so we, we're quite happy with it. i just want to go a bit further i'm disappointed with two last 16s so we'll put that right in the very near future for now it's a lot of rest like i say i'm wearing a splint at the moment and i've got a a sort of tubey grip thing that i have to wear like when i'm doing things like driving or eating things like that um just to sort of maintain that and get us to the end goal we need to get to lakeside so currently in that position thanks to the patreons and supporters of this journey if you are interested in getting involved in that the description is or the links in the description down below go check that one out but thanks to you guys and we'll catch you soon for another video diary when we're back on the road again looking for some more points towards lakeside <laughs>